with the story of the young girl who is said to live nearby. As the story goes, she entered the tunnel as she was being burned alive while screaming at the top of her lungs as she attempted to escape her allegedly abusive father suspected of lighting her on fire. What a great dad. Another version of the story was that the barn near the tunnel caught fire and the girl tried to escape the flames by entering the tunnel to find asylum. But there's one thing that all of the stories agree on, is that whoever this girl was died within the tunnel by fire as she screamed her last moments alive. And because of that haunted tale, many have flocked to the site and encountered their own paranormal experiences, most of which involve the lighting of a match within the tunnel, the sound of a little girl's scream, and a strong wind that snuffs out the flame, which is said to be the spirit of the little girl blowing out the fire. Prop gun had not been unloaded from a previous scene where they used dummy bullets and shot him point blank in the abdomen. And at first everyone saw Lee writhing in pain and just thought, oh, that's just, he's a good actor. When he didn't stop, they realized he had actually been shot and they rushed him to the hospital where he was pronounced dead on write about their traumatic experiences with harassment and all of it in the hopes that it would invoke change around the world. This eventually led to the end of many Hollywood figures careers including well-known producer Harvey Weinstein as he was specifically named by 80 different women who claimed he had either harassed, assaulted, or molested them. Since then Andy Dick was fired from his role in a film after kissing and licking people. I don't know, that one just seems like common sense not to lick someone. Like in what context ever do you just lick another human being? Hello, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. What the also, actor Kevin Spacey is facing sexual assault allegations from over a dozen different men, which eventually led to him getting kicked off the show House of Cards. Dustin Hoffman got accused from several different women for groping them. Louis C.K. exposed himself and masturbated in front of women, which he actually owned up to, which is surprising. Wow, a celebrity owning up to something they did? Unheard of. <laughs> actor Terry Crews expressed that he was actually sexually assaulted by Adam Bennett, the head of a massive Hollywood talent agency called WME. And after seeing all this, I think now is as good a time as any to remind you that no, actually means no. What? So you're telling me that seven no's does not mean yes? No! Where are you getting that? Uh, from your videos? Oh. Do you do birthdays for kids? <laughs> And despite how weird this guy is, the music's actually not that bad. In fact, I'd probably sing one of his songs if I was ever on American Idol. I can't wait to put it in my mouth, uh, up my crack, uh, in my ass. Get out. What's strange though is that actress Lindsay Wagner was supposed to be aboard the flight, but something held her back, stating that a dark and unsettling feeling stopped her from even getting aboard. So soon after the events were televised, David felt his heart sink, feeling that he could have done something to stop it. And even though the crash was deemed an accident, FBI investigators still felt like David Booth was somehow involved since the details of the crash were eerily similar to his vision.